So um, what we're going to do is the in and out crossover. In and out crossover is pretty simple. Uh, all you got to do is uh, move your body, your hand like this. It's almost like carrying the ball, but you don't want to carry the ball or else you're going to get a violation. So we're just going to practice it real quick. Very simple, very easy. So that way you can learn how to develop it. All right? All right, so that last drill, that last drill was pretty much the in and out crossover. And uh, the next one I'm going to work on is the fakey crossover. What this crossover does, it helps you to uh, ward away the defenders in such a way that they're not going to know exactly what you're doing. And you can evade them. So you make it seem like you're doing a regular crossover and you bring the ball back. And it's a pretty cool trick. It works at very high speeds. And um, some guys will fall on the floor if you do it right. So just check it out and let's see what happens. All right, so that was the fakey crossover, and it definitely works wonders if you do it right. So this next drill that I'm going to do is behind the back crossover. It's pretty difficult to do uh, starting out. So you want to build up your momentum, and it may take about a week or two to, to a month to develop your forearms in such a way so that you can actually keep the ball coming back on both sides of your, your body, both right hand and your left hand. And it has to be equal, like I said, in the beginning of my drills. Um, my previous drills, I should say. So you want to make sure that you are well adapt before you get into this drill because you're just going to keep stumbling and figure, you know, finding that it's defeating you. So this is more of an advanced drill, but over time you can develop it and it'll definitely help you. All right, so check this one out real quick, and uh, let's see if it works out for you.
as you can see, this was very tough. So I'm showing you that you can make a lot of errors. Your hands are doing all the judgment. So you got to judge the location of where your body is in reference to your actual hands. The lower you keep the ball, the more stabilized. You got to do it gently. That's the trick to it. You don't want to move it too fast. You want to do it nice and slow so that you can feel the ball release from your hands and you can time the ball coming back up through the air. And it's almost like juggling, you know, like clowns in the circus. They practice all the time. They actually practice the dynamics of a ball or an object moving in motion through the air, which is a physical and dynamic approach to the actual understanding of objects. So dynamic means moving in fluid motion. So kind of like this. The trajectory, the path of the ball, you pretty much, you have to get adapt to that while it's on the floor or if it's in the air. But definitely when it's on the floor, this is what you train your body to understand the dynamics. So once you get more in depth and in tune with your body, your arms, forearms, and more balance, you're going to get adjusted to this move. And it'll shake up any defender pretty quick if you're moving at a high velocity, meaning if you're moving at a high pace and high speed. So when you're running down the court, you get used to this drill. Just be, be a, you know, be aware that somebody might fall again. And it's definitely to your advantage when you have your defenders on the ground and you're looking at them blowing right by. Make sure you give them a little smirk, you know, like that. And then they won't, they won't defend you too close and they'll keep you like at a certain space. Or else, if they don't fall and if they don't back off, well, you might as well just uh, think about passing the ball too. Because some defenders, nothing is going to give them in. They won't give in and they'll still be on you and they'll probably strip the ball if, you, if you're not fast enough and if they're too fast for you. And they have a lot of, you know, evasive moves and actions. So that's all I got for that one. And um, I'm going to show some drills of putting it all into motion so that way you can see how it works on the actual court. And hopefully uh, that works out for you. And this is Mike Pugh, Cloud Explorer from Hub Pages. And um, tune in as, as soon as uh, I get back to the next tutorial videos, all right? So uh, I'll see you in, a, in a, the action, live action movements and motion.